Itani, thank you. And now we're taking a look at the county commissioner precinct four race for the Republicans. Blanca Trout with 55% of the vote tonight. And KTSM 9 News reporter Carla Draxler is live with Trout in Canateo. She takes our coverage from here. Good evening, Natasha and Andy. I'm here in Canotillo, as you said, with Blanca Trout and her party. And as of right now, she is taking the lead over uh, over David Adams with just a little bit over 55% of the vote. Uh, good evening, Mrs. Trout. So tell me, how do you feel as of this moment uh, with these unofficial results? Definitely, I feel so happy. Thank you to my supporters. Thank you to the people who voted for me in the Republican Party. Of course, they know that I'm ready to serve them and I'm ready to go and do the best that we can from, you know, for precinct number four. And if you do end up taking that, uh, that win tonight, how will your campaign continue? My campaign will continue as uh, always, you know, with transparency, accountability, and supporting the people from precinct number four, and the, all the aspects that needed to pay attention to it. They know my platform. They know that I'm always, you know, a person that I go getter, and I'm going to do it with all my passion. Here are my supporters. So thank you so much. Amen. Amen. Great. Thank, thank you, you so much, Mrs. Trout. Well, we also did to talk to David Adams, who tells us despite the results, he will continue to serve the El Paso community. No matter what, we're thankful for the voters going out there. Um, without you, we couldn't do what we do. And no matter what, we've got a fight ahead of us going into uh, November uh, against the Democrats. And, you know, the, the voters chose. And, we're going to see what happens. Adams also touching on the tragic shooting in Ovalde, Texas, saying the El Paso community stands with their pain. I really, you know, the Uvalde thing really touched me, so I want to really go in uh, right away looking at, at what can we do to protect getting with our school superintendents and our school districts and see what we can do to make sure that this doesn't happen here. It hit close to home, and that's a little too close for comfort. Now, if Trout does take that win tonight, she will be potentially racing uh, with the current uh, projected winner uh, of the Democratic Party, which is Sergio Coronado. Reporting in Canutillo, I'm Carla Draxler. Back to you.